exorcist, and you see this demon possession. And this is kind of funny because, you know, when I say I'm the prince of demons, that just flip people out. Um, I can see what the fuck is up. I know what the hell is up. So when you guys see those demon magicians on the TV that do cool stuff, if you think doing parlor trips, parlor tricks is cool, you know, that's that's sort of funny. Look, these magicians they could do parlor tricks on stage and make people say that's a demonic what magician. You can see all the videos on YouTube, demonic magicians. They say Chris Angel's possessed and all these other guys are possessed. They stick needles and shit through them. And it's kind of funny. They're not leading the way to the Fountain of Youth, the Garden of Eden, are they? No. no, they're not. Screaming out publicly with all their power and, you know, you know their might that they have to do this and that, walk up buildings and chuck people in half on A&E TV or whatever it is. What I'm saying is that, you know, even if you're, you know, whatever magician, Houdini, it's just kind of funny. You couldn't escape the box to save your life. Um, or you would have done it already. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's called a book of life for a reason. It's Satan's elect. So when people say, you know, you sound, you know, you sound so demonic, you have no idea what it means to be the prince of demons. And uh, that should really shake people up because when I say it's clear who holds this fear of destiny, this is not an accident. People don't say this shit. Or they would have said it already. And they would have taken over the world because he who holds the spear holds the fate of the world and nobody has to like it. So, you know, my demons will eat you alive. When I say that, it's like, you're the one who's going to eat them alive. I'm going to eat them alive. We're all, you know what I mean? It, I don't like to pick on people, but when I see people picking on my blood brethren, like, whatever. I don't even remember their names. I, I see their videos from time to time picking on you, but they never show their face. And I leave a comment. Show me your face. I will take that fucking video and reverse it. And your lips will match all your stupid shit. And you will be talking out your ass. Because, you know, you need to make an atonement for your filthy soul. And only your blood can make atonement for your soul. Animal sacrifices are insufficient. And Jesus can't save you. I have the mythical spear of destiny. So, you know, I'm going to publish all these videos with, you know, like the exorcist and, you know, it's a fuck Jesus, fuck you, fuck Jesus, fuck you. People like to see me as the most blasphemous, you know, you, you think of whatever character in the past, you know, Anton LaVey or whatever, you know, that's just kind of fun, you know. That motherfucker was on TV. If he had the spear, get me on TV. You put me on a radio show. What do you think I'm going to be screaming out? I'm going to be oh, screaming out the found of you, Holy Grail. You will join me in die. You will join me in blood or die. That's what I would say. So when you see like these old videos like Anton Le or, or Alistair Crowley, yeah, people say he was the beast. That's kind of funny. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. I'm going to live. Nobody fucks with me remotely. I'm telling you. Not my boss, not my wife, not my son. Nobody, nobody bothers me. Everybody can see them. If, if you're even come into contact with me, you know what the prize is. Mm -hmm. And you don't want anything for you. I don't want your money, your worship, your advice. You're in the book of death for a good reason. Until you make an atonement for your filthy soul, it is what it is. All your leaders swore in the Bible. It, it is what it is. Uh... You know, it's not up for debate, and that's why this should, sh should scare people, because, you know, you think, like, military and CIA, whatever it is out there that's going to stop you, is not stopping me, because I fly above all weather, or I fly under the radar, but I'm right there on the radar, screaming it out, join me in blood or die, who says this shit? Darth Vader says it, uh, they said Benjamin Franklin said it, to unite people when the British were coming, it was join or die. You know, this is what's going on right now. It's natural order that your grandma dies, that your great grandma dies, that your grandfather dies. They're getting cancer and all this shit. My mother died of pancreatic cancer. I saw her just disappear in two months. Poof, she went from a healthy woman to gone. 
literally overnight. So what I'm saying to you is that I have people out there I need to save. My people that I suggest I worship, like my son or my wife, or whatever it is. And if you save one person, you end up saving everybody. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want your money or worship or advice. I could take care of my own trip there. It's You have no fucking clue where to go. You would find yourself spinning in circles because it's all set up this way for a reason. You know, the prince of demons constantly. When you see the exorcist, when you see these magicians like EA Coetting or whatever it is, they sell all these books. That's just, I don't care what coven they suggest they're from, whatever it is. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. You're so filthy, sickly, wizardry, retarded, just like your Harry Potter on steroids with like <laughs> pubic face. But is there's no way to escape this. You're you went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. Every word you speak is a magic spell. People say horrible shit to each other. Like like you hear like the guy I'm apprenticed to. So you don't want to work with the devil anymore. No, yeah, poof. My boss saw that, he's like, oh, let's shake him up. Let's put him, you know, on his own without an apprentice for a few days to see how he makes out. You can see the guy going local already. You know, people ask me a lot of shit. And a lot of people send me a lot of these videos. You know, I know people like to beat me up. You gotta watch this, you gotta watch that. Unless it's, if it was that powerful, you'd be using that information to focus on the Holy Grail. If I don't make Holy Grail videos every day of my life, you're going to expire. Because nobody will be motivated to do this shit. And, uh, I mean, let's just call it like it is. You know what I mean? If, if I don't beat the fuck out of this Ethernet with this blood over intent, standing here with Satan, you know, you think I'm demonic. You don't know what demonic is. I'm taking over the fucking universe. I'm going to throw... The bridge keeper off the bridge, motherfucker. Not you. I mean, for heaven's sakes. When we reverse your words, you don't hear you're leaving for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry. And, you know, whatever it is that God loves you, God bless you. Nobody, I'm the one who decoded that shit and chopped the head off your motherfucking head. Don't even say I love you to someone. That's, we shall die. We will die. So this is like crazy shit. So... You know, I say I decapitated your God and stuff. Every time somebody sneezes, you still say, God bless you. It's like, you know, I worship you would be better off to say. And, uh, you know, Jesus freaks, they'll, they're never going to get it. I'm sorry. It's like I'm bringing down the church uh, just like prophecy by the book. This is like, you can't say they didn't tell you it was coming. This is like woven into reality. You can't say you didn't see it coming. They told you the Antichrist. Got it. I am the one true motherfucking Antichrist, Prince of Demons, Devil himself, uncontested. And nobody even would try to stop me. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not taking anything from you. You can't hold anything over me. I, I took $5 for you, $50. For, I didn't take anything from you. All I said is put your blood up side by side. Eventually there'll be 144,000 in the Book of Life. Long before... When you see a hundred thousand in the Book of Life, I'll go there by myself, come back, get more, and then drag it, or whatever it is. What I'm saying to you is that I'm going to live. I don't, nothing, when I see, nothing gets in my way. I'm telling you, freaky shit, like, freaky shit would just blow your fucking mind. So, like I said, but nobody bothers me because they've already been flipped out. Everybody around me is like shaking to their fucking core. So, you know, when you think demonic and shit, I love when you call me demonic, when you tell me I'm possessed or something like this is the funniest shit ever. If this is what possession looks like, you know what I mean? Then tell me what the fucking exorcist was all about. Spinning heads and barfing. You, you know what I mean? And That's them. Mark, they, they show you the mark on her leg. It's her calf, like... You, you sacrifice an ox, a calf, the Lamb of God, this Jesus thing, you know what I'm saying? It is on her leg. So, the, the atonement that, you know, people say, I'm not going to harm myself with a pinprick to do this. That's demonic. This is fun. People say, you're, the demons are attracted to your blood. 
if demons are attracted to blood, I've thrown up so much fucking blood on this. It's, it's nobody even compares. Because everybody else might have been using a chicken's blood or this. I'm using my own fucking blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the one who's drawing all the blood, donating the blood, spilling it, doing all this shit. So, you know. It's become an offering to God. Yeah, I hate to say I don't want to flip you out, but I do want to flip you out. You should be flipped out. 